welcome back guys to another video so this is just an update on my raspberry pi robot project and as you can see i have uh, installed an lcd display so this is something uh, this is a new hardware installed on this project uh, we still have the camera and we still have the uh, six ultrasonic sensors so let's just turn on the robot and then we'll uh, take a look into how this is actually connected on to the raspberry pi so as you guys can see this is a blue black uh, blue backlight display uh, with white text so i'll just take camera a little, a little bit closer so you guys can see what's on the display uh, so as soon as you start the robot it needs at least 30 seconds for the sensors to settle down uh, for some reason this is happening and uh, so I'll just pause the scripts for around 30 seconds for it to start and I haven't coded much for the display for, so uh, for now it just shows me the uh, values uh, from, the se uh, from the ultrasonic sensors so this is uh, from the front left sensor and see that uh, comes down to 7 and this is from the center sensor and this one's from front right sensor uh, then we have the BL which is from the back left and then uh, back center and then we have the back right so a little bit more on the how it's connected to the Raspberry Pi part so the main LCD module here is actually connected to a uh, I squared C breakout uh, module uh, at the back so this module right here and this actually breaks out the LCD pins or actually combines the LCD pin uh, into a two way I squared C connection so and this is actually for the power so the I connection is of course connected to uh, another one of these uh, logic level converters and then that is connected to the raspberry pi uh, the raspberry pi i squared c bus and this is how it works i squared c with a i squared c converter board they are easily available off ebay so this is pretty much it for the video uh, I plan to uh, use the display for some kind of uh, interface for the camera recording and streaming options as well as a couple more uh, functional options for the Raspberry Pi robot. Actually this is it for today's video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.